Oh my my. Mm. Meat's tender. It's good. Hey, 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 good morning, YouTube. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Rico here, Rico's Place. Glad you came by. Making chili today. I'm making old cast iron, campfire, bare bones, simple, easy chili. Using Rico's uh, own mixture of chili spices and uh, powders and such. We're going to take all of this. We're going to stick it into our Lodge uh, Dutch oven. Take it out to the fire out at Base Camp Rico. And we're going to cook this outside while I uh, try to relax a little bit today and enjoy, enjoy my day off. So it's really, it's really not as much work as this looks like. Let me go through the ingredients we're going to use. We're going to use some red bell pepper, some Roman tomatoes, Anaheim chilies, Serrano chilies, oop, that's a jalapeno chili, the Serrano chilies, I'm going to put a beer in it, I'm going to use these uh, diced tomatoes, I got a can of crushed tomatoes and sauce. We have the uh, El Pato, I think it's El Pato, I call it the duck sauce, it's uh, the Mexican uh, tomato sauce, it's got a little bit of kick to it, we're going to use some of that. I don't have any uh, dry kidney beans that I could have soaked overnight and used, so we're just going to use some cans of uh, kidney beans, chicken stock, ground round, let me get this all prepped. And then we'll uh, we'll get back together out at Base Camp Rico out by the fire. See you guys in a, oh probably 45 minutes or so. All right, a lot of activity going on with everybody kind of stuck at home these days. I got music playing in the background, and I'm sure they'll start yelling at each other here pretty quick. They usually do. Normally I would uh, put this in the colander and strain it all off, but I forgot to bring it out here, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to pick these up after a while. A little bit of chicken broth, can of crushed tomatoes. One little petite cut diced tomatoes with sweet onion and garlic. Larger can of crushed tomatoes. I think you can see this. And of course we put a little bit of uh, chicken stock. And then I'm just going to put in two handfuls of brown sugar. And while that's simmering and, and getting going, um, <clears throat> I'll start browning the meat over on the fire pit. <coughs> now this is a woo. This is a mixture of we got uh, ground beef, some stew meat some diced up uh, pork loin, and some ground chicken. And we'll throw a little bit of uh, Rico's chili spice on here. We're gonna let this meat simmer, get it brown, get it, get it ready to go in the pot of the tomato sauce behind me. Now that's uh, that's rolling a, a rolling boil, a little hotter than I want it right now, so I'm gonna have to adjust the heat a bit here on Old Ray. 
but you get the idea. And then when the meat's done, we're going to put the meat and the chili beans and some more uh, seasoning in here, and hopefully we have a pretty good pot of chili. So all I did was move all the coals to one side and make me a little cooler side here. Okay, the meat's been out here simmering. It's it's done. I got the uh, oh, tomato mixture, the tomato sauce behind me on Old Grey. We're going to take the meat out. We're going to combine in the pot the meat, the chili peppers, the onion, and the chili beans. And we're going to let that thing just simmer for a few hours. Should be good. Let's check it out. All right, so sometimes you got to move coals around and put pieces away. You just got to regulate your heat. So let's take a look at this and see what's going on in here. All right, that's looking really good. Okay, so we're going to have like half an onion. I like celery in my chili and then of course we got to put in the uh, jalapenos, serranos, jalapenos, what do we put? Jala, jalapenos, serranos, Anaheim and a red bell pepper some red kidney beans Now, for those of you that are of my era, 80s uh, type man, there's there's a famous movie out there, and uh, I think it applies to my pot of chili. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. So, if you guys know what movie that came, that line came out of, we need a bit. We need to get a bigger boat, or I think we need a bigger boat, or something like that. Leave it down in the comments. So I'm going to have to go find a uh, a larger pot. I really wanted to do that. Well, this, this might be able to stay in this pot, maybe. All right, so we're just going to put this down in here. There we go. Awesome. Woo, that's hot. So we're going to put one, uh, one 805 in. We're going to add a little more chicken broth. We're going to put in the duck sauce. It's the uh, El Pato, El Pato, El Pato, hot tomato sauce with the duck. I like it. Ouch, burning my little toesies. And then, just because I can, we're going to put a little bit of the crack and spice rum in it. And we're just going to put a little more chili powder. I need to go find the lid for this pot. I don't think, well, when this pan was round, this was probably the right 
lid, but it'll, it'll work for now. Hey guys, I, uh, <laughs> like always, I kind of fell asleep. Not really, but, all right, take two. Hey guys, I, uh, I got kind of lazy in the, uh, what the hell is that? The, uh, the camera went dead on me once, so I didn't really show some in-between stirrings. But uh, this thing's been cooking. This thing's been cooking probably 12, 31, 32, 32, 32. four hours, maybe five hours. I'm going to go ahead and do a little taste test for you here. That's up. That's pretty tasty. Got a little bit of a kick, but it's tasty. So this turned out to be not my simple little ground beef and beans chili, uh, but it turned out to be one of the better, better, better batches or pots I made. Uh, I made some cornbread uh, a little earlier today. stir this cheese up. Let me go ahead and stir the cheese up in here. A little bit of lime on it. Mm -mm -mm. I could eat this breakfast. Breakfast morning night. Breakfast morning night? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, this is good. The cornbread feels just really good with it. We're going to call it a day, guys. Rico, the tie-dye cowboy, as usual. I'm wishing you and your family well. Salutes, my friends. <laughs>